That's what today's topic is about. Do you all think that I should seriously go into embryo adoption? Do you all think I should do that? Or do you all think I should just complete the process of becoming a foster parent? What are your thoughts? I would really like your feedback on this because I just can't make up my mind what I should do. But it's too it is is something that has been weighing on me heavily that heavily that I need to do, need to do, need to do. So it's either or and mostly the foster parent thing is really at my heart to do. Really at my heart to do so. another episode of chocolate and chit chat today is a more serious episode mainly because one it is something that we barely talk about when we talk about adoption having kids when i talk about having kids we know the adorable manner in which we all have kids and what adoption you think about you go into going through an agent, uh, foster care, or people who can't afford to financially, mentally take care of their children and believe to themselves that their children will be better off with someone else who is financially, mentally uh, ready or able to take care of those children. So, I have a daughter. She's in her 20s and she always complained about being our only child. That wasn't really. At first, I may have wanted more kids, but I think after all the stress that I had with her, with that pregnancy, carrying her, being in hospital for seven months after that pregnancy, and when she was born, uh, from the age of one to about three, I was in and out of hospital because of my medical situation. That link would be above there right now about that whole story because I don't want to stray from what today's topic is about. And today's topic is about have you all ever really considered embryo adoption? I am not saying that adopting a child through a third party or an agent whatever whatever means whatever legal means is bad but have you all ever considered embryo adoption embryo adoption is simply this it could be hospital wife girlfriend boyfriend whomsoever the couple may be they went through that whole process and they have eggs frozen eggs and they know they're not going to use those eggs that they have fertilized anymore. So they decide to either give it to you, sell it to you, whatever. Most cases it is given. Um, not paid, but nowadays there is places where people will sell their embryos to you. And you could have kids. So... There is a couple that I have been following on YouTube. This is their channel right here. And I would also put, this is their YouTube 
page. This is what the page looked like. And said she has been going through it lately. Really, really going through it. And um, they have a beautiful, beautiful little boy that they adopted from birth. His name is Ezra. Sweet little boy. And let me tell you, I have been following them for a long time. And I did. I think you all really should go check out that channel that I just mentioned. And really because of their channel in the beginning when I started to talk about it, I was like, okay. <laughs> because it never even came to mind, you know. I wanted to be a foster parent, firstly. And, you know, I wanted to go through that whole process. So I signed up and I had meetings, but then Corona came in. And then the big C virus came into play uh -huh. so that kind of hold and then for some god intervening type of moment i bounced up their channel and they started to talk about this adoption she wanted to have another child now she could have children her husband can't so I won't go into all the details, but as I said, the link for their channel is in the cards, right? So, and they went into this process of adopting this embryo and they started to do transfer. Again, I'm not going to go into all the details, but this, the first transfer, it was so emotional. Or a pregnancy test. Oh, it was a very happy, sad, sad, happy kind of a real emotional journey. We all, all of us, all of her subscribers, her family and friends have been on this journey with them. So I implore you to go check them out. So that is what basically started my research into embryo adoption. And I really think it is an awesome idea. Um, but I always would re tell people do your research because it's a very tricky thing. Make sure you, you dot all your I and cross all your T's because you don't want any issues down the road. Um, I have been considering doing it, but as my daughter would say, Mommy, she said to me, have you really, really think about this? You really think you're able for this kind of thing? You, you, you know? So I, I listened to her. That's when I was thinking to be a foster parent. She was very concerned. She's a very protective child, right? And uh, she was very concerned about it. But this is something that's really placed on my heart to do. So then when I, as I said, as I came across that YouTube channel, again, it's on your screen right now. That embryo adoption sounds really interesting to me and I am really looking into it. I am only, yes, I am only 42 years young. Eh, eh, what wrong with all you? I am only 42 years young and I really think that I should, should do this. What do you all think? So this is what this video is about. Do you all think I should go through this process of getting more information, doing more research, and uh, maybe down the road doing this, what do you all think I should do? Or just be a foster parent? So I, I was thinking to either do that or to do the embryo adoption. I would really love to hear what you all think. Uh, it is weighing on my heart so much, on my mind so much, I decide to make a video and ask you all what are your thoughts about this? Do you all think I should do it? What are your thoughts? Oh, and if you're interested in ordering one of my mugs, the link is in the description. You can email me there and we can go from there. And you guys, since the last video that was last week wednesday where i flat ironed my hair guys 
you all see in this it is still i haven't passed back this flat iron in it one bit and i just keep tying it down and brushing it and it is still going strong really sharp <laughs> really sharp so i am really happy with the results i will be doing it again though i will when it's out, it's out. I'm going to wash my hair. Maybe this weekend. Today is Wednesday. So I'm going to wash it out. Maybe Saturday or Sunday. Uh, yeah. Get my hair a good steam. And see how it goes from there. And bring it back to itself. Anyway, so. That's what today's topic is about. Do you all think that I should seriously go into embryo adoption do you all think i should do that or do you all think i should just complete the process of becoming a foster parent what are your thoughts i would really like your feedback on this because i just can't make up my mind what i should do but it's too it is it, something that has been weighing on me heavily that heavily that i need to do need to do need to do so it's either or and mostly the foster parent thing is really at my heart to do really at my heart to do so but if i have to be a foster parent you know well normally they wouldn't have an age requirement you know it's whatever is going on at the point in time they ask you to house a child so but if i have to adopt a, a child it would not I would prefer not to do a teenager because well who knows maybe I just always say well, once God plays something in your life there is always a reason for it you know so let's say I am to go down that road and I am placed with a teenager maybe that is what God has in store for me maybe there is a reason why I need to have this this child this person, this human being in my presence. So I should not be thinking I only want a certain age group. So yeah, so that's all right then guys. Thank you all so much for joining this very quick conversation because I just wanted your help to help me decide. So thank you all so much for watching and please leave your to leave your thoughts as to what you think I should do. Thanks so much. Have a blessed and productive day and the rest of your week. God bless. Bye.